Before we start this video, I want you to watch a few clips from an accident that we had recently on the river. There were no kids involved, everybody was okay, but you need to be thinking about this stuff every time you get in a boat, whether it's with or without kids. Okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You pull me on your boat. Damn it! Three yeah. right out. Yeah. Topher, go to shore and walk down. Oh, oh, oh. First, let's get you guys in dry clothes and then we'll flip this boat over. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. I'm kind of excited for this one. Quiet on the set! We're gonna talk about rafting with kids, and I'm gonna tell you some of the things that I do to make it fun and safe. Ow! Ah, cactus. Ooh, I almost stepped on some ants. Rafting with your family is a blast. Fun, rewarding, and educational. Highly recommended by all huge fly fishermen. I think a lot of people are intimidated to take their kids rafting. And you should be, it's a serious thing. But it can be done safely. Okay, let's get started. I think the most important thing we can talk about is safety. Rivers are powerful. Things can go very wrong very quickly. Safety is paramount. Learn proper safety protocols and learn how to use safety equipment. Take a swift water rescue course. Teach your kids about river safety. Your kids should always wear PFDs and so should you. A uh, PDF? A PFD is a life jacket. And make sure those PFDs fit well. Safety is the most important thing. Have a first aid kit available. Know how to use a throw bag. We actually had to use one on this trip, not for a kid. Know your abilities. If you're not confident or experienced on the oil, maybe you should wait. Get some experience first. Remember, you've got your family in the boat. The only way to get good at it is time on the oars. Yeah! What's going on? One of the keys to a successful day rafting with kids is preparation. Preparation is key. Preparing ahead of time can save you a lot of trouble in the end. Get your stuff dialed in. Most of this starts at home. Check the river flows, check the weather. Make sure conditions are ideal. 50% chance of rain? You might not want to go. Make sure your gear is dialed in so you can focus on the kids. You need to have tons of water, food, snacks. The kids are gonna get hungry, you know that. Be ready to bail at a moment's notice. You might have to bail before you leave the house because the kids are having a meltdown or the weather changes or something might happen on the river and you need to boogie, which is tough to do, so you gotta think about that. You can't just pull over and say we're done. What if your kid's losing it and you have five more miles to go? That's not gonna be fun. Yeah, what's going on? Pro tip, do not tie your kids to the boat. Tying your kids to the boat is not a good idea. But do have them in arm's reach or be holding on to them at all times. Safety first. Don't try taking kids rafting alone. Rafting with kids takes a team effort. You need a support crew. You can't do it alone. Have your spouse or grandma and grandpa or a good friend help you out. You can get your kids and family into rafting by easing into it. Start small. Find some easy water. Maybe start by renting a canoe. Find a short stretch of river to start on, like a mile or two. Or put your raft on a lake and paddle around and see how the kids like it. I hate to break it to you, but not all kids like rafting. Weirdos. Get your kids excited about rafting by getting them involved. They can help you plan the trip and figure out where to go. They can help you prepare the boat either at home or at the ramp. They can help you inflate the raft. They can help you launch the boat. Teach them the ways of the river. They can help out with real tasks or you could just make things up. Give them silly jobs like tying knots to everything or counting the oars or PFDs. Have them organize your cam straps because every rafter has a thousand cam straps that need to be organized. Well, yeah, what's going on? Have a safety talk at the put-in. Not just your first time, every time. What to do if you fall out of the boat. What to do if you get hurt. What to do if we get stuck on a rock. How to properly net a fish for death. Teach them safe techniques for tossing beers to other boats. You'll need to have activities and distractions throughout the day. They're gonna get bored just sitting on the rubber all day. 
looking at birds, counting trees on the side of the bank, playing I spy. Oh look, a moose. Maybe you could do some fishing. A couple quick things about fishing. Number one, kids are wearing sunglasses. We've got hooks flying around. We don't want anything bad to happen. With younger kids, you can give them a fishing rod and then cut the hook off the lure or fly. With my youngest, I don't even string up the rod. He doesn't know the difference. Pro tip, don't let the kids hold anything that you won't mind losing overboard. I let my kids play with fishing rods on the boat, but not the good ones. Plan some shore stops. Don't keep them cooped up in the boat all day. There's plenty of stuff to do. Skipping rocks, looking at bugs, drinking some beers. You gotta remember to have fun. Bring extra clothes. You never know what's gonna happen. Be sun safe. Apply sunscreen liberally. Maybe bring an umbrella for shade or look into getting a bimini top for your raft. We have a bimini on our boat and it might be the best piece of gear that we have. Oh, it's nice. I'll leave a link to mine in the video description. Bring some toilet paper. You should have that in the boat all the time anyway. You can let your kids row or help to row. Let them choose which channel to go down, which side of the river to fish. Teach them how to heckle the guide boats and ask why they're not catching any fish. Trash talking is an art. Find a good nap spot in the boat. We used to let the kids nap in our dry box when they were small. No, we didn't close it, we kept it open. Don't try to force it or cram too much in. Just go have a good time. Make it fun. You're gonna have to make it fun for them to enjoy it. Yeah, what's going on? Thank you for watching. Maybe you could like this video and subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. We'll see you next week with another huge fly fisherman video. Stay huge. This was definitely on a spinning rod. Spinning rod. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Whoa. What? Whoa. Wait, you believe things you see on the internet? Bye-bye.